nuts will make you fat. अबे क्या बोल रहा है भाई साहब? रहे टूडेज वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट इंडिया फेवरेट चकना और स्नैक वे टॉकिंग अबाउट नट्स एंड वे टॉकिंग अबाउट पीनट बटर बट इवन वेन इट कम्स टू अपर फूड अ हेल्थ फूड लाइक नट्स दर्स अ लॉर ऑफ पीपल आउट दू मेकिंग डायटरी मिस्टेक्स वॉट आर दीज डायटरी मिस्टेक्स दर्स ओनली वन वे टू फाइंड आउट लेट साइंस द शिट आउट ऑफ इट When it comes to including nuts in your diet, there's a few rules you need to follow. But as always, before the rules, let's talk about the science. One gram of carbs or one gram of protein has only four calories, but one gram of fat has nine calories. Fat by itself is a very calorie dense food. In that little amount of fat, there's a lot of calories packed. That's what I mean by calorie dense. But when we talk about dietary fat, people automatically think of all these evil thoughts. Fat khayega tu? Tere ko boobs chahiye? Fat khayega tu? Fat. Unsubscribing mother. The greatest fat source of them all are nuts. Not only is it a very healthy source of unsaturated fats. which are actually linked to reducing the bad cholesterol in your blood stream but they also nutritionally dense and they high in fiber and they're a great source of vegetarian protein something that's very important for us to know as indians but then again if you overdo it with nuts and if you don't follow the ground rules when it comes to nuts you will become fat thanks to that good fat source because at the end of the day if your calories in are more than your calories out your body is going to store all those extra calories as fat and that's how a good fat source like nuts can actually make you fat so rule number 1 as with any other food item excess is bad how much is too much most health experts recommend just a handful of nuts every single day that's about 30 grams of nuts which contain 14 grams of fat which works out to about 170 calories That's about a tablespoon of ghee or so. Rule number 2 is smart consumption. Yes, nuts are very healthy. They're giving you a lot of nutritional benefits, but what you got to remember is that on days where your caloric intake is already high, you want to go a little bit easy with the nuts. Suppose on a cheat day, you know you're consuming a lot of fat in your cheat meal. On that particular day, don't have nuts. Yes, they're high in fiber and unsaturated fat and all this nutrition. But on some days, if burning off fat is your main goal, if losing weight is your main goal, choose to skip nuts on those days. Be smart about it and know your macros. Ground rule number three: say no to processed food. Food is processed for two reasons primarily. First is to improve the shelf life by adding preservatives and the second reason is to improve the taste so that consumers like us enjoy the product and go to buy the product again. So how do they improve the taste? They add fat and they add sodium. So don't go and buy cheese nuts or masala nuts or fried nuts. Nothing that comes out of a can or nothing that comes out out of those packets that says flavored nuts or fried nuts. If you want to go and buy nuts, you've either got to buy raw nuts or you have to buy dry roasted nuts. But it doesn't stop there. Processed food can be made worse by adding sugar. Nut products, especially like peanut butter, are they really that healthy? Abe peanut butter to healthy hai na? So why is peanut butter considered a health food? Traditionally, peanut butter is made by pulverizing peanuts into a fine paste, adding a little bit of fat. and the result is this very creamy very delicious high protein and healthy snack but the processed food industry does it a little bit different a lot of peanut butter brands firstly they'll add a lot of sugar to the mix to completely enhance the taste to make it very sweet secondly they'll add sodium to enhance the taste further thirdly they'll add hydrogenated oils which are the worst kind of fats to put inside your body from a health perspective and finally to change the texture a little bit to make it even creamier some processed food companies will add stabilizers which are animal derived products so what do you do in a situation like this consumers like us need to go around looking for a good peanut butter brand one of these companies called pentola manufactures peanut butter the way it's supposed to be manufactured it's not got hydrogenated oils it's not got a lot of added sugar it's not got added sodium it's just peanut butter in its purest form It comes in the crunchy and creamy flavors and of course Beer Biceps does recommend it because it is a healthy food product. If I am ready to put something inside my own body, that's when I'll recommend it to you guys. Remember my job on Beer Biceps is to spread fitness education and is to spread these diet hacks. 
Which brings me to the fourth and final diet hack when we're talking about nuts. The fourth ground rule and fourth diet hack is super simple really. You just mix it up. If you've been watching Beer Biceps long enough, I keep talking about how you should change up whatever you're eating. So even when you're consuming nuts, don't be that person who only consumes almonds or cashews or pistas. Keep changing it up. Every single day, change up the nuts you're having. Or another great option is that buy nuts together, mix it up in a big jar, and then every day just have a handful of those mixed nuts. Remember, different kinds of nuts give you different nutrition. And as a human being, you want to eat all kinds of food to get all kinds of nutrition. Hey guys, if you liked today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Remember, it's just a click for you, but for every YouTuber, it does make a difference to their YouTube journey. So if you enjoyed today's video and you want to learn more about diet science, I highly recommend you check out the diet advice playlist on Beer Biceps. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that yellow circle and subscribe to the channel and join the BB Army. Until next time guys, from Ranveer, see you.